Hello everyone, this is King Kong LT. We have not seen each other for a long time because of the Chinese New Year holiday and these days uh, we are busy for developing a new product. And now I come back and begin to work with the video. And this video I will talk about our plan for the uh, 2022 uh, for the development uh, plan uh, of our product. And the first uh, we will talk about the hardware. Uh, last year, uh, we have designed the A-series product uh, like the A4, A8, and A16, uh, that all based on the ESP32 module. And this product uh, uploaded to our website and uh, online store. Uh, many people have uh, used this product and it's very popular, I think. Uh, they will like uh, this product, uh, such, as, uh, such as the A4 board, uh, many people have love this board and in this year we will continue to make the acrs product and uh, such as the a32 uh, you can see this are board uh, we are just on the testing uh, this is a32 have 32 channel output relay output and 32 channel input and have some analog input on this board also it's used by esp32 module so this is the A series, and maybe in future we will design the uh, 64 channel, and you will have 64 channel input and a 64 channel output. It will be very big, uh, the PCB board, but it's very powerful. Um, I think it's not easy to see on the market. So this is uh, the A series product, and about the HXB series product, uh, such as H32BS and H32B and the serial B, we will continue to make the new firmware uh, according to the customer feedback, uh, the user feedback. Now I don't know what to update, but we will see every customer's suggestion. And at last, we will make a new firmware update. So what we will update, uh, you, if you have some ideas, uh, you can leave a message to us and you can write email to us. Then we can, uh, our Kinkone development team uh, will uh, make the new firmware about this, uh, some new functions. We'll solve some pr problem and uh, make some new ideas functions in the new firmware. And also last year we have made the A E8 and the E16 extend relay module. And we will continue to make some updates and let the board uh, many uh, more powerful and more function and more easy to use and this is just uh, for the external relay module and about the hardware at last uh, in 2022 uh, we will have the biggest uh, the big biggest quality product that we called this box is called kc868 uh, server uh, this is a server of your house home automation. Uh, it can management by this box. And this box will almost cost development about seven months, uh, more than half a year. So we have taken many times to design this box and it will be released soon. What is the advantage of this server board? Because we have integrated uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 the CM4 computer module in this box inside of the black metal box and also include the ESP32 so that you will have the digital input and the digital output and analog input and the IR receive and IR send and the wireless module of 433 MHz so all this can resource can management by the Raspberry Pi or by the ESP32 and also there is a King Kong smart home system, the CPU, King Kong CPU on inside of it. So there are three CPU, just one is King Kong ARM CPU, and the second is the Raspberry Pi, and the third is the ESP32. The three coin CPU will work at the same time, so it's very powerful. You can do many logical uh, functions, you can do anything, uh, such as you can use the Raspberry Pi, and install any Linux software application. And you can do anything for this 
hardware resource for many projects. I think so. This is very powerful. Almost I can see the uh, like this product on the market. And in future, I will make some details video to explain it. Okay, this is the hardware of the 2022, and uh, maybe we will design more hardware just according to the user and customer's feedback. And we can create and uh, design some creative innovation product. Okay, let's look at, uh, talk about the software. And because we have used this uh, server box, uh, you not need to use an extended Raspberry Pi box. And before, you need to put one Raspberry Pi box and another is a King Kong container box. Uh, so we will have two boxes, but this time you just only use one box. So you can use Home Assistant will be very easy. So in this year, I will make the Home Assistant video toy the video lessons, very details, and step-by-step step tell you how to create the system, how to create the build your home automation system, and how to step-by-step step to create the lamp, the curtain, the integrate the camera and the sensor, and the automation functions. So this will be uh, uh, make a home assistant lessons. And the second, because we have A4 board, A8 board, A16 board, A32 board, maybe have more uh, A-series product. So the ESP Home is very powerful and easy to use. So I also will continue to make the Arduino IDE, uh, uh, how to write the code uh, uh, for the A-series board. Uh, if you can just uh, a little uh, coding technology, then you can do many logical country and automation country uh, by yourself, uh, just as your mind, so that you can tell the board what to do and how to do. So this is just according to your code. So this I will make the Arduino IDE the lessons. And also, because you will be easy to use the Node-RED and the Tasmoto freeware, so I also will make some videos about how to use this Node-RED and the uh, Tasmoto uh, in our A-series part. That will be easy because the all uh, software is open source and free to use and popular used by many people. So if you can learning how to use the Home Assistant, how to use Arduino IDE, how to use the Node-RED and how to use the Tasmoto. So you can use this tech skill and uh, for many different IoT products, not only used by Kinkoni product, but also you can use this principle and work with other companies' product. It's no problem because Kinkoni is open and uh, the product is open and the technology is open. So we can show our skill and we can learn each other. So this is a software about the uh, third plan for application, we will make the uh, video lessons. And at last, uh, the K-Box. The K-Box is our uh, local network application. And we will update the K-Box Android phone application to support the IP camera. Uh, this we will do it. And uh, you will let your K-Box application as seen as the Kinkoni Smart Home application, uh, use the relay controller in the window and the left and the up window, you will use, see the CCTV, the web camera video, and the uh, another half of the window, you can turn on the relay and uh, change the dimmer and uh, see the logical controller COL, uh, many sensor did feedback, uh, such as the temperature, humidity, and uh, analog input and digital input state, or you can see the K-Box. Uh, but we, why we update the K-Box? Because the K-Box uses MQTT technology, so that you can use your own cloud, cloud server. Uh, maybe you, you are a user, uh, you, are, you are a customer, so you can create the private uh, MQTT server very easy by yourself. The server is not in China. The server is in your country, maybe in your city or in your home. So the K-Box will support uh, use any 
uh, MQTT block called the server. Uh, the Cancun smart home application only use the server uh, in China. So sometimes maybe we have some delay because the long distance, the China and the, between your country is the long distance. Uh, so maybe we have some uh, little speed delay. And uh, if you use Kbooks, uh, you can create the uh, MQTT book cloud server very easy uh, because I have made the video before. You can see our old video how to create the MQTT book server. And the second, uh, if you are a company, uh, you sell the product to your customers and uh, you can easy to create your company's cloud server and uh, service for your, uh, your country and your city customer. That will be very easy because uh, uh, application speed it will be very fast. And uh, the, uh, the third, because the K-Box of the Android phone, we have make it open source and uh, in our GitHub you can download the source code and you can change anything and any update uh, such as you can change the logo and change the company name and change the title and change the UI and you can change anything. That all is free and all you can change and uh, modify the uh, source code based on our GitHub source code. So you can generate the new APK file for Android phone application by yourself. Actually, we also have open source for the iOS, the iPhone application. But uh, because the Apple Store policy not all of the simple two application uh, functions, uh, just uh, change the logo and change the title and upload it to the Apple Store, uh, maybe they will not allow you to uh, upload your application. So use the Android phone application will be easy to OEM or to change anything by yourself. And this is the software and the video toy about the lessons we will prepare for this year uh, for everyone. And because in last year, we have made many board based on the ESP32. And very, very people, many people, very nice, have helped me to make the diagram and make the document and make the uh, video, demo video and show with our and show with our YouTube fans and show with everyone so that can let everyone can easily to understand the system and uh, actually see the demo video. And uh, this year, so I will also show our technology and our skills uh, for everyone. I think the King Kone is not only our company. I think the King Kone is a plan for, for the home automation for everyone. So we can learn each other. Not everyone is others teach. So we can learn each other and make the system more stable and make the system more function powerful and make the system more user friend. Okay, uh, this is I want to talk about the plan of the 2022. And if you have some suggestion and have some questions, you can leave message us. Okay, thanks for watching.